So here's Realme C11. It's bright yellow and there's no picture of the phone or anything else to be seen on the outside. We'll quickly take a look around and what we can see is a few specifications that are pretty important. The battery is the most important thing over here. Realme is giving us a 5000 mAh battery at this price. There is a 13 megapixel dual camera system, so that's 13 megapixels for the primary and 2 megapixels for a depth sensor. There's a 6.5 inch screen with a water drop notch for the front camera. And finally, we come to the Helio G35. So there's very little else on the back. We can tell that this unit has 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB of storage, and it is the rich green color. So that's really all that there is to see on the outside of this box, apart from a little manufacturing and shipping information. And that means it's time to peel off the shrink wrap. So this is also pretty standard, the welcome to the Realme family. Um, there is a bit of paperwork in here and yes, the SIM eject pin, but you do not get a plastic cover with this model. Here's the phone itself. In another layer of protective plastic and we can see this is indeed green, but we're gonna put this to one side and check out the rest of the box first. As expected, not a lot going on. We have a charging cable. Yep, micro USB as expected, not USB Type-C. And the fairly large charging brick itself, which is rated at 5 volts, 2 amps, so that's 10 watts. So that's it. That is pretty much everything that you get in the box with the Realme C11. And now that we've seen what there is to see here, let's get to the device itself. We can turn it on for the first time. Let's have a look at the camera bump on the rear. It's square, but there are still only two cameras. And of course the flash. We've got this stripe on the back, which brings a lot of attention to the Realme logo. Other than that, it's a plain matte plastic which feels decent enough for a very low-cost phone. If you look very closely, you'll see this slightly ribbed texture. So that should be good for grip. We have the power and volume buttons on the right, only the SIM tray on the left, nothing on the top. And as expected, a 3.5mm audio socket, microphone, micro USB port and a single speaker on the bottom. So it seems that there's no fingerprint sensor, which also shouldn't be a surprise. So now we can go through the setup process. Let's just do this quickly. And we seem to be done. So here we have the familiar Realme UI. Not a lot to see, a few preloaded apps. So now we can talk a bit about the specifications of this phone. We have the MediaTek Helio G35 processor. We have 32 GB of storage and 2 GB of RAM. The storage can be expanded by up to 256 GB. We've got support for single band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. The usual sensors including a magnetic induction sensor, 5000 milliamp hour battery. On the rear, we have a 13 megapixel primary camera with PDAF and an f2.2 aperture. That's accompanied by a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And on the front, there's a 5 megapixel f2.4 selfie camera. The screen measures 6.5 inches and we have an HD plus 720 by 1600 pixel resolution. 